So tonight's victory is that this frame is finally working like it's supposed to. Um, I've been agonizing over this for about three months and tonight it has finally come together. Now this frame is actually three frames. It's this here. It's this here. And then it's all the stuff here. And what does it do? Well, a bunch of things, but primarily it does the job of that wooden test cart on the left, only it does that job automatically. More specifically, this frame tests the incoming selectors, which are these. So if I want to test an incoming selector and make sure it's behaving, I can set up a number here. I can operate the proper keys. And let's see if this works. And yep, that selector works just fine. The problem with this card is it's not meant for automatic testing because you have to plug it in to each selector you want to test. It does have a nice remote control to stop and start the test, but it's still not automatic. On the other hand, this also test the incoming selectors and other stuff too, but this does so automatically. So, hit start, and it makes a little bit of noise. Oh, do we have a busy district? We do! Hang on, come over here, and it should go. Okay, it's running. Let me go over here. Then it'll do the next one and the next one and the next one. Oh, I have it set to repeat, so it'll do each one twice. Now it should move forward. So what this frame is going to do is run the same test on each incoming selector that I have hooked up. I have seven hooked up to it right now out of a possible uh, 30 that I could have hooked up. Um, and gosh, getting it to work was impossible. Um, all of these switches were mechanically way out of adjustment. They were dirty and gross, so they had to be cleaned and then readjusted and then readjusted and then readjusted again. I had to remove them from the framework. And then all the relays here were way out of adjustment. Just pull the covers off, I can show you. So I had to spend a couple weeks readjusting and testing these. And, 
then I get the cover on. Oh. Oh, wow, I made it mad. Let's see if it continues. Oh my goodness, I totally made it mad. That's what I get for trying to put a cover back on with one hand. Let's see if it works again. Sweet, okay, so anyway. All these relays behind these cabinets had to be adjusted, which took forever. And then these switches up here had to be cleaned and adjusted. And those cross connects up there, which actually programmed the test, had to be... Uh, I must have spent a month on those alone. But it finally works. Oh, and then don't forget these down here that had to be cleaned and adjusted. Oh, and uh, yeah, don't forget also the motor drive shaft and gearbox and all that that had to be cleaned and adjusted. This is more than a telephone switch, this is a mechanical marvel. And if it's not adjusted properly, nothing works. <laughs> if you didn't get that idea yet. Not happy. Happy. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this run for a while because it seems like it's having fun. And um, yeah, we'll just see how it behaves over the next hour or so.